What's good? It's your boy Jay Shine. And um, before we even get started, I needed to add this to at the beginning of this video. Shout out to Two Raw for Sports. He had this on his channel um, talking about trades with LBJ. So I want to give my shout out to him. And with no further ado, here go the rest of the video. What's good? What's good? It's your boy Jay Shaw from the Behind the Bench Sports Network. Shout out to the bench crew. Let's get straight to it. I wanted to talk about the Los Angeles Lakers. And I wanted to talk about LeBron James and how the Lakers will not make the playoffs this year. Even though they're sitting 10th in the play-in, they're not a playoff team. And anybody in their right mind that believes that the Lakers will make it to the championship, you're very delusional. The only way they'll make it to the championship is if the NBA, Adam Silver, continues to give the Lakers benefits by manipulating games and rigging them for the Lakers to have a chance to win and in some games to win. And also manipulating games with teams that's hovering around the Lakers, teams that's in front of the Lakers or teams that's right behind the Lakers to keep the Lakers in that playing game. But if the organization was smart, I believe these moves could help the Lakers, help these other teams that's involved, and I think the players will agree that's included in these trades. Now, I had to think, what's the perfect team for LeBron James? Where, where would he go, allow himself to go for this season that's going to keep him there, that's going to sign him to a big-time contract, that's going to be somewhat competitive and will be able to draft his son in the draft in the second round because uh, Ronnie ain't going first. He don't have first round talent, but if they're trying to make some money, if they're trying to get some buzz, if they're trying to keep the fan base excited because the fan base is brainwashed by the media on how great LeBron James been and, you know, drafting his son is a great idea well I think this team right here if they insert LeBron James they may be able to make a serious run to the Eastern Conference Finals well I know a lot of y'all is asking well what team is it well it's this team right here it's the New York Knicks why do I believe the New York Knicks is a good fit for LeBron because the team that they have constructed right now, they have players that can hit big shots. They have centers that can catch lobs and they just traded for OG out of Toronto. I don't want to butcher his name, so I'm just going to call him OG. If you follow the game, then you know who I'm talking about. But LeBron, you got to know he wants to play in a big market. This helps his brand. This helps his legacy. You know, if he could get the Knicks to the finals, that helps his legacy as one of the best mercenaries the game ever seen. You know, he got the bubble championship with the Lakers. He won with the Miami Heat. He won with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And... If he could get the Knicks to the finals in an Easter conference that has the Milwaukee Bucks, the Boston Celtics, and Philadelphia all at the top, and the Knicks could slide in somehow and upset one of those teams, it's a great accomplishment. What Nike would do if LeBron was in New York and the jersey sales that the Knicks that Dolan would, would make with LeBron in the building and it's already high to go to a Nick game but 
if you insert LeBron, oh, oh man, Manhattan will be in the games. They'll be at every game. Those those fans will be back in the arena. They already go hard for the Knicks, but with LeBron in the building and them having hope that they could get to get through the East and, and get to a championship game. Oh man, you team with 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 Jalen Brunson hitting big shots and LeBron leading the way. Hey, the Knicks might have a real team that may be able to compete. But I could see LeBron being on that team. I could see them signing him and getting him the money that he would like. That he would um, like to have. I could see them even drafting Bronny James that year in the second round. And that just makes more money for the Knicks. So if Dolan wanted to sell the team, oh yeah. It'll be worth some money. It'll be worth some money. But y'all probably asking, well, who is the Knicks going to give up? On what they going to give up? They can't give up OG. They just traded for him. They can't. Why would they give up? Brunson. Nah, you can't trade LeBron and take everybody away. You can't take you can't trade LeBron to the Knicks and get back players that will hurt the team. Nah, you gotta give you got the Lakers gotta get back something that's gonna help the Lakers also. So I will say that they should trade LeBron for Julius Randle. A lot of Knicks players is not high on Julius Randle. And if the Knicks want to go somewhere in this playoffs, he has shown so far in his, in, his, in his career that he's not a playoff performer right now. And maybe it's the pressure of playing in Madison Square Garden, but who knows. But you trade him and Josh Hart for LeBron. You throw in a, a first-round pick. A future second and then there you go the Lakers is looking they're looking the future is looking good because now they got some younger players that are capable scorers uh, Josh Hart could go back to can go back to being that 17 to 18 point game score that he's capable of being when he was in Portland helping the Portland Trail Blazers before he was traded. A lot of people underestimate Josh Hart, but he's a player that the Lakers could use that brings some scoring, some leadership, great locker room guy, um, very mature. And I'll tell you right now, just adding these two players on, the league ain't going to be cheating for the Lakers anymore. But having Josh Hart and Julius Randle already on the team. And you already know Julius Randle's going to play at least more than 77 games a year. At least more than 770 games a year. And the same thing for Josh Hart. And they're, they're good defenders. They're willing to defend. They're willing to play defense. You add those two bodies on the Lakers. You put LeBron on the Knicks. The Knicks is on the up and up. The Lakers is up on the up and up. But I'm not even done with the Lakers yet. See, because you will have to trade Anthony Davis also. Now, who are you trading Anthony Davis to? What team would trade for Anthony Davis? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of Laker fans that really don't look at Anthony Davis as a real Laker because the the front running and the way he got to the team and the way they traded off the whole young core but I'm going to say this if they could trade for these two pieces right here it boosts the Lakers that I feel like the Lakers could honestly make a legit run this season 
without being in the plan to make a playoff spot if they did if they pulled off these two trades. But the team that would take AD in return, oh, it would catapult them to the favorite to win the NBA championship. And it's it's something that needs to happen for this team. Why? Because they open up in a new arena next year. And once I said that, I know a lot of y'all people was like, oh, he's talking about the Clippers. I sure am. Now, why would the Clippers make this trade? See, the Clippers is opening up a new arena next season. They just signed Kawhi Leonard. And they got to fill those boxes in their new arena and they want to make back some of that money so you have to put a team out there that clipper nation feels good about now don't get me wrong the clippers is balling they're one of the scariest teams but they haven't signed paul george yet and they still got to make a decision on James Harden because he's going to want to re-up on his money if they win a championship this year. But I don't think they'll win a championship this year. Not if they go out and get Anthony Davis. Then I do think they'll win a championship this year. You pair Anthony Davis with Kawhi Leonard, James Harden, Russell Westbrook, and you throw in um, Rui Hachimura in the trade also to give him some 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 bench some depth. That's a team I think can run through the West this year. I think they'll have all the pieces needed to run through the West and even beat the best team in the East. And we'll go into next season as defending champions. I don't think nobody will be able to touch them. But yeah, you will have to give up Paul George. And you probably will have to give up Zubak. So the Lakers and let me go ahead and add probably two first round draft picks. And that helps the Lakers out. You put Paul George with Julius Randle, Josh Hart, and you got Zubak. You don't got a first round pick from the Knicks, two first round picks from the picks from the Clippers. Oh yeah, and that second round pick from the Knicks. The Lakers, they could run that team, and that team can make a little noise. I'm not saying that they'll win a championship this year, but I most definitely do believe that they could play basketball and compete this year and make it into the playoffs. Not to play in, but in the playoffs. Because Zubak, if you look at his numbers, he'll he'll be used properly. The Clippers really don't use him properly. You pair him up with Julius Randle. You got um, Paul George playing the small, Josh Hart, D'Angelo D'Angelo Russell. At the shoot, Josh Hart at the point. Or you can put Josh Hart at the shooting guard. D'Angelo Russell at the point. You still got Austin Reeves coming off the bench. Uh, Trayon Prince, he'll be put back in his proper um, row coming off the bench. Yo, Quentin Woods coming off the bench. So now your bench got stronger. You got legit starters you got players that's going to play defense because Zubak is very good defensively his numbers on the floor his plus minus numbers on the floor defensively he's one of the best at, at out there he's capable of giving you at least 18 points a night if you just give him 12, 12 touches the boy could shoot a he could shoot a 10 foot 15 foot jumper you just never seen it because the Clippers don't use utilize them like that 
You got PG on the Lakers. So they got their star player. They'll have cap space going forward that they may be able to get a a, a, um, a future um, free agent. Now you look more Tyson because if not, and you let LeBron walk and they don't get nothing, the, the, the franchise is going to be in shambles. No draft picks, no, no future stars. I think this is a win-win trade for Nick fans, for Clipper fans, for Laker fans. And I don't think the Clippers say no. I don't think the Knicks say no. And I and if the Lakers say no, then they they need to go ahead and people need to start saying that Jeannie Buss needs to get fired. Cause that means she ain't doing what she needs to do, and that's put the best. We've been lied to. We was told that this Laker team was to, supposed to bring us back to prominence, contending for Western Conference championships, winning championships, bringing superstars to the team. But now nah, we've been lied to. We've been bamboozled. We've been embarrassed. We done lost games to the worst teams in the league. Been on the longest losing streaks that I can remember. Teams that did not compete, that could not play defense. Having the NBA help the Lakers by manipulating their rigging games. Collusion. Stephen A. Smith said it was supposed to be blockbuster, but it's been more lackluster than anything. It's been a nightmare for so many Laker fans. I know so many Laker fans that stopped following this team. So many Laker fans that said, that, that tell me it don't even feel like the Lakers. The prestige is gone. The tradition is gone. We're hanging tournament banners. It's constant trade requests and trades and fire this coach and fire this and get rid of this player and the GM every day. There's nothing good from this team. It's very toxic. They thought it was toxic before LeBron came. Nah, it's toxic now. It's nothing positive with the Lakers and if they do say something positive, they're lying. And when I say they're lying, I'm talking about the mainstream media. We just want our team back. So if anybody out there that's a true Laker fan and you approve this video, leave it in the comments. Share the video. Because enough should be enough. Enough should be enough, people. But until then, I'm your boy Jay Shot. This is a Behind the Bench Sports Network production. And until then, I'm out.